I'm retasting some 2006s from Pomerol wines, which are now currently available on the market, and uh, there's plenty of good stuff there. This is Chateau Montviel, which comes from the first lady of Pomerol, if I may say so, Madame Catherine Perevergé. And of course, her standards of quality are really, really high in terms of uh, selection, in terms of picking, in terms of winemaking, and uh, I mean, she never releases anything less than less than very good. However, still, the wines, they will show uh, plenty of character coming from the vintage, so uh, we shouldn't, I mean, there's still plenty of, of terroir in there, yet in a good combination with with, with um, concentrated fruit and opulence. And this particular one is no example. Uh, 06 now on the nose has really an emphasis on fruit. We do have plenty of dark plum in there, cassis, hint of smokiness, and almost a touch of confiture, quite a nice sweetness on the nose. And on the palate now, very nice dense fruit, dark fruit there, tannins are well integrated. Still, I mean, it's a bit, it's still a wine that I would like to keep for one to two years because it would just become a bit more mellow, a bit more sweet, a bit more round. But I mean, it's a nicely balanced wine with a good level of concentration, good length, opulent, and, um, and rather harmonious, apart from its youth, as I said, keep it for another one to two years. So I mean, if you'd like to drink it today, put it in a decanter, 30 minutes prior to, prior to service. And uh, I mean, it's a flavor intense wine with plenty of structure. So in terms of food, I wouldn't like to make things too complicated. I mean, actually I'm thinking here of a, of a luxury burger. I mean, Kobe beef with foie gras, brioche a la Robochon, uh, with uh, this quite hedonistic Pomerol, could be quite something for, for dinner tonight actually, enjoy.